Hi everyone, welcome to Zynerd's Neat PG 2025 FAQ series. We are adding a few points to whatever we have done last year and running the FAQ series again. This is an FAQ series on deemed versus private institutes. We usually have the hear, hear the term management quota, paid seats, etc. We usually hear, hear a reference to non-government institutes as self-financing institutes, private institutes, deemed institutes, etc. We are trying to private universities etc we are trying to mention what these are we'll give you a reference of what deemed universities or private institutes we'll give you an example dy patil navi mumbai is a deemed university whereas let us say acpm is in maharashtra is a private institute or psg is a private institute and uh, let us say uh, in amrita kochin is a uh, deemed university whereas psg is a private institute psg of tamil nadu is a private institute so you will hear these institutes you have these institutes what is the difference is what we are trying to do uh, trying to explain here deemed to be universities there are 45 institutes which come under deemed to be universities they are called universities basically they come under a university these institutes will also come under a university but these are deemed universities so when an institute comes under a deemed university it is called a deemed to institute basically that is a reference that we have these institutes the universities are deemed to be universities they are not actually universities but ugc through minister of higher, Edu uh, higher education ugc university grants commission has given them status previously it used to be after 10 years you can apply for a deemed university status you can you can you can directly become something similar to an university you can conduct your own, own examinations autonomous uh, you will have the autonomy to run the institution syllabus etc can be modified etc so that or for that level of autonomy me, many institutes applied and got deemed university status you will be surprised to know that certain institutes like skims etc are also government institutes which are deemed universities we are not talking about them we are talking about the complete private part they are government but deemed in status that does not impact anything they will still come under all india counseling only we are looking at other private institutes or trust based institutes which are non government which are deemed universities 45 of them exist all of them have been up, uh, uh, given deemed to be university status this is to be is displayed in all the universities now you can note that now private medical colleges there are 223 private medical colleges they were they were 223 offering pg last year it might increase by a few numbers these might be under the state government university like for example psg medical college one of the best medical colleges in tamil nadu comes under the state government's university, Tamil Nadu, MGR University. That is an example. State private universities under the state act. Some states have an act. Many states now have it. Saying that you can create a private university itself, but under the state. Deemed universities are not governed by the state at all. They are central in nature because no state is controlling it. The state government is not controlling it. Here a private university or a private institute. An institute obviously comes under the state university. Private university will be under the state act. It is the state act that has created it. They will have autonomy in terms of creating a syllabus uh, with NMC regulations in place, creating a syllabus, etc. They will have the autonomy of uh, running their own exams, providing uh, uh, the degree by themselves. They will have that autonomy managing the institute themselves. So, within the state private universities, there might be institutes. MS Ramaya is an example. MS Ramaya in Karnataka is an example of this. Geeta Anjali in Rajasthan is an example of this. So, similarly, there will be a lot of state private universities. Both of them we do not need to distinguish except for the fact that institutes under state government university will give, give you a degree from the state government university. Institutes under state private university will give you a degree under the private university. These will have higher autonomy. So, the degree is from here. You need to still cross check whether these are good or not. Some like MS Ramaya might be extremely good. Some in Rajasthan you might have to reevaluate multiple times. So, that you need to do. But all of them are under the control of state or through a state act. So, this is deemed, this is state. So, there is a distinct difference like these are central in nature and autonomy is there. These are also central in nature, but autonomy might be there in some institutes to an extent, but they are under the state authority, governed by the state authority. So, that is a distinct difference. So, what happens? Do they offer different courses? No. They are all medical colleges. No difference. They offer MDMS and PG diplomas. They also offer MDMS and PG diplomas. If you are confused about what PG diplomas are, we have done a course, uh, session on PG diplomas. Uh, we have done the ultimate guide where we have explained what PG diplomas are, uh, part 1. We have also done a PG diploma versus NBA diploma 1. You can check that. No fee regulation till last year. Nobody regulates the fee of de uh, deemed universities. So, till 2023, there was no free regulation. But in 2023, prior to that, NMC Act, 2019 Act, prescribes a 50 percentage 
fee equivalent to government institutes and a framework for regulating the fee of deemed universities. So, NMC is trying to get into the deemed university domain of fixing fees for them of which 50 percentage is for government fee. They have done this for not only deemed universities but deemed and private universities. Private already have a regulatory mechanism but deemed what they have done is they many of the institutes go to have gone to court and they have the Supreme Court has stayed this decision of implementation and asked the NMC to come back and tell them how this can be implemented. So even though the act says deemed fee is to be regulated, 50 percent should be equivalent to government. Currently, this is not there. They can fix any fee that they want. That is the current scenario. Any fee that they want for any course. State private institutes or private universities. Private universities in some state can fix up uh, the fee even though there is a regulatory order by the Supreme Court. The regulatory order of the Supreme Court says that a committee has to be formed by the retired, headed by a retired high court judge and this fee regulatory authority will define the fee for the institute. They are supposed to get all the financials from the institute. What is the expenses? What is the income in terms of uh, the fee etc. other hospital income and combined together it should be a not for profit organization. That is how the fee is defined, supposed to be defined but still the fee regulatory authorities are not completely able to control this fee in some of the states. They are not able to regulate the fee and there is a lot of hidden fee but this is supposed to be regulated by a fee regulatory authority. The recent Supreme Court order we have gone through, uh, the case of Ms. Bhavna Tiwari uh, versus uh, Uttar Pradesh Union of India, that case you can go through for knowing what the current judgment or direction is. 100 percentage of seats allotted through All India Counseling. Except for one, uh, uh, five institutes, we will give you in Karnataka, where some seats are there in Karnataka State Counseling, all deemed university seats, 45 institutes, every seat, we will show you the institutes, all 45 institutes are through All India Counseling only. 100 percentage of seats allotted through case, case, uh, P, uh, uh, State Medical College Counseling. So, if I am looking at PSG Medical College, Somerville Medical College, I am looking at uh, any medical college, Al Lameen in Bangalore. I am looking at all ACPM. All these are private medical college, so state only. Deemed universities, Amrita, SRMC, DOI Patil and all the deemed universities through All India only. Straight away difference. Max 15 percentage can be NRI. Here also max 15 percentage can be NRI. Some non-clinical courses, they will not give NRI seats, but obviously because nobody takes. Fee structure is same for all seats. When we say same for all seats, it does not mean DOI Patil, Navi Mumbai, and Amrita will have the same fee for all the specialties or within MD general medicine, both of them will have the same fee. No, but within the particular DOI Patil, MD general medicine, here they will have only two categories, MNG category and NRI category. This has one fee, this has one fee. Within MNG, they will not split it. So, if you are going to All India Counseling and I am applying for management or paid seats, DOI Patil General Medicine will have only one fee. There will not be different quota saying this is a lawyer fee, this is a government fee, etc. That will not be there. But in private institutes, some states have a government quota which is a lawyer fee. Uh, uh, Karnataka might have open quota, GMP quota, minority quota, they have the government seats, etc. And other seats, NRI seats, all with different, three different fee structures. So, that is also possible. So, within the private institute seats, there might be different quotas based on eligibility, there might be different fee structures or based on merit rank, you might be able to get different fee structure seats. But here, same for a particular seat, particular specialty in an institute across. So, that you need to know. NRA alone has a different fee structure from MNG. All candidates are eligible. Every candidate across India is eligible, but eligibility varies. For example, in Maharashtra, Maharashtra is not an open state. Only MBBS from Maharashtra or domicile of Maharashtra who have done a 15 percentage, uh, MBBS under 15 percentage, AAQ, AIMS, etc. They are eligible. Others won't be eligible for any of the seats. They, you will not be able to take that seat at all if you don't fall under the eligibility criteria. Not possible at all. But in Tamil Nadu, 50 percentage comes under the management quota for every candidate across India are eligible. So, there are 14 open states where private institute seats might be available. There are other states where nobody can get into the private institutes. Only that state eligibility criteria is there. So, rules might matter. Here, every candidate across India is eligible. Therefore, it is conducted by MCC, which is a central body. No reservation for MNG or uh, in All India Counseling. NRI, MNG, category reservation is there. Not there. Within this, will there be OBC seats, SC seats, ST seats? That is not there in All India Counseling under deemed universities. Reservation might be applicable. Depends upon the state. Some states don't have reservation for private institute seats at all. Some states do have reservation for a set of seats. Some states do have reservation for all the seats. So, that is possible here. Minority seats are there. 
Jain minority and Muslim minority seats are there in deemed universities. We will show the institutes. Only Jain and Muslim minority seats exist today. In private medical colleges across India, you see also open seats across India for minority category. Basically, some seats, Sikh minority seats might be available for every Sikh candidate across India. Similarly, Muslim minority seats might be available. So, though, what are the minorities available? Jain minority, Muslim minority, Christian minority, Sikh minority are available. We are not sure. There is also Buddhist minority that we have uh, missed out, which is in uh, two institutes, I guess. Basically, one institute at least, Subarthi. Uh, that those seats might be available. This is under uh, contention. And you also have linguistic minority seats. Telugu, Tulu, Tamil minority, Malayalam minority. Depending upon the state, there are linguistic minority seats as well. So that is available. So basically, you should understand that Tamil minority seats, where will it be available? It will not be available in Tamil Nadu. It will be available in Karnataka because in Karnataka only Tamil, can, Tamil, native, Tamil language mother tongue candidates are uh, minority. Similarly, Malayalam minority is not available in Kerala. It will be available in an institute, it is available in an institute in Tamil Nadu. So that is the distinction. Uh, you can just go through each state info guide when we do it and you will get information. These are the 45 institutes. Now, now the biggest question is how do we differentiate between deemed and private? I want an institute, how will I know? If it is not in this 45, it is a private institute. Go to that state and attend the counseling. First check the eligibility and attend the counseling. Look at this list. If there is any addition to this list, we will come back later. Last year, Malaradi was at, these Malaradi institutes were added previous years only. So, if there is any addition, we will get back. But otherwise, this 45 is the list of deemed universities. In this, you have SBKS, which is a Jain Minority Institute, and Hamdar and Yenapoya, which are Muslim Minority Institutes. So, if you are interested, you can also check that. You will have an advantage of those minority quota seats. Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College, Belgaum, because of the NMC scam, the case where recognition uh, amount, uh, there was a lot of uh, issues with uh, NMC officers getting uh, money for recognition. JNMC Bel Melgum has been debarred in terms of uh, all the seats have been cancelled. We expect that PG seats might also not be available. We'll have to wait for that information if there is any development on that. But right now our concern is deemed versus private. Anything not here is private. We said that there is one exception. For all these deemed universities, where will you go? You will go to All India Counseling. Nowhere else you will see the seat except for these five. These five institutes, 90 percentage plus seats are in All India Counseling only. You will still go to All India Counseling only for all these seats. But around 5 to 10 percentage are available in Karnataka Government Quota based on an M MOU. This is only for Karnataka Government seats. They don't contribute to private seats. And all of them are at a very low fee structure. So if you're looking at JSS, KS Ekde, Kasturba, Mangalore, Manipal and Yenapoya, you will look at All India Counseling. But if you also are eligible for Kasturba Government Quota, Class A, Class B, Class C, up to Class G, X, G or F, etc., then you will also look at these seats if they come under your reserved category for the speciality that you're interested in because they are low fee seats if something costs 20, uh, is at a cost of 26 lakhs per annum per year, this might be at 7 lakhs per annum in Karnataka quota or even lesser at 1.5 lakhs per annum for certain seats. So that you will have to look at as far as these deemed universities are concerned if you are eligible for Karnataka government seats. They don't come under open quota or all India open basis in Karnataka counseling. So if you are not from Karnataka, nothing to do with Karnataka, only all India counseling. So that is a distinction. Hope this was helpful. Uh, in the distinction between deemed versus private, you go to Zynad, you straight away go to Zynad and click on institutes link. Under the uh, under the explore section, you will see on the left menu bar, you will see institutes link. Just click on the institutes link, check an institute, you will tell you whether it is private or deemed and it will you will be able to figure out whether it comes out or all India counseling or the state counseling. Thanks a lot for watching, hope this was helpful.